Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Battle at Boomtown 4. Presented by Bomb Squad Disc Golf. I'm Austin Lytle in the booth with Matt. What's up, brother? How we doing? Good, man. MG Electric, Fairways of Canton. Big shout-outs for the big title sponsor this, sponsors of this event. It's in the heat of July. It's a B-tier. It's a must-play tournament in Atlanta. And uh, some of the top dogs I think we've got here on the second round. Oh, yeah. We've got uh, Isaac Robinson, Matt Dollar, Lance Gregg, and Ezra Robinson, all within four strokes of each other. So this should be a nice second round we've got. Yeah, I'll put up pretty decent numbers. I think uh, we should see some exciting numbers coming out of the second round as well. Leading off at first, it's a, it's a par five, thousand feet. You got OB, cart path, beyond cart path on the right. You got this bunker and OB left to a test with into a little little hidden basket here. Um, see how they do. Again, this is a long day of golf, 27 holes. And we started off with a thousand foot par five. A little bonus commentary from Cody Vitale in the background. Yeah, that's there. That's there. But Isaac with a big push out there. See what Matt throwing an overstable. This is very stable. Asking for it to come back. There we go. Yeah, that, that's about ideal. Give him the best I best look at the basket. Well, this is getting full flight. That's a great smooth rip from Lance Gregg. Yeah, that's something we, I, first time I've seen Lance on video. So uh, I've played with him a couple times here, but um, it's good to see him on video card. He's He's been playing well recently. I mean, he's super smooth. Absolutely. I think he's got an ultimate background as well. And Ezra just absolutely crushing it. Yeah, he blows past his brother by a good 60, 80 feet. Oh, Matt's getting full flat on this one. Yeah, that'll be good. Be good for an eagle. What do you think about a, a, a brotherly rivalry while you're playing? You know, I feel like that that's only it's only motivation one and two. I think you, you know, can almost like set yourself off to play by yourselves. Wow, look at the roll. I think that'd be an interesting question to ask the duo on a Froth Center episode. I don't think the Robinsons need to be on the Froth Center, but, you know, I I, I respect them both. And I, I think I've played with them both on the same card before. And it's, you know, it's, it's almost unfair when you're out there because it's like they just battle each other and, like, they're, to play, they're playing 1040, 1050 golf. But it's all to beat each other, and you're just kind of there on the side. I think that that's to their benefit. And I, I think it's that's just what like I'm asking. They've been training their whole lives, just playing against each other, trying wow, to get Wow, what a the... shot. Did you see that? He just hit the pole. That was sick. Great shot from Ezra. Yeah, Ezra's going to be there for the Eagle. Take a quick stroke on the brother. The brother with the rival. We got Lance here for him. And he he leaves it a little low there. Yeah, tap in birdie there for him. Twenty six holes left to grab that birdie. Yeah, exactly. Dollar starts off with a nice eagle. Everybody else will be tapping in for birdie unless you're Ezra Robinson who hit the pole for. Easy. That did, did kind of look like a mid range. See Lance with the umbrella out there. It is absolutely blazing hot out here in the Georgia heat in the middle of July. You got to find some sort of shade because a lot of these holes are uh, out there kind of in the open on the golf course. We got hole two here, 345 feet, plays much longer than that. Uphill the whole way, throw over the bunker and the green. And the uh, fence sits on the other side of the cart path here. 
I'd say this place a little closer to, to uh, 400. Yeah, than, absolutely. Than it plays 400. It takes a big rip for it. Matt's going for the big turnover. It looks like he left it just a little short. I'm going to have to pitch up and just take a three. No one dollar. He might, he's probably going to be put a good bit on that for, for two. Oh, yeah. Ezra just with an easy hyzer out there, 30 feet long. Yeah, that kind of looks like a fairway, maybe slower driver. It's a good rip. See what Big Brother does. Coming in high on it. It's stalling it up a little bit, it looked like. Lance gets a nice smooth one up there. Lance is on the green at least. Just outside the circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Matt as well. Well short, looking to make a run out of it. Oh, doesn't leave it short. Doesn't leave it short. He wants it. Oh, and what a pat by Lance Craig. Great putt. Settles those nerves down and gets him a run back his first time on coverage on the second hole. Look how it's smooth. Every shot he throws is just elegant. Like He it's always has elegant. the puree behind it. Kind of a, uh, almost like a, a bowling finish to his, to his throw. Absolutely, absolutely. Shout out to the fearless Dumbos that were wrapped on his shirt. As you're doing Ezra things, Isaac doing Isaac things, monkey see, monkey do with those two, I'm pretty sure. If one makes it, you have to make the other one. Casual 30 footers. Yeah, exactly. And that was a great bid from the other side of the short side of the cart path from Dollar. He's going to settle for his par while everyone else birdies. Yeah. And like that, Ezra's just inched one up on the brother on the first hole, though. Hole three. Uh, big sidearm, big turnover shot, 440 feet. It's downhill, but it's on a slightly elevated basket. Only OB is the golf green, the cart path. It's not OB on this hole. Um, dangers are far right and far left. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward come and get me 440 foot hole. Hopefully this filters through and it doesn't look like it got too far, maybe within putting range, but that's the uh, common mistake on this one again. Early right. It's not somewhere you want to be. This looks like it's wide enough. Didn't quite see that finish. Yeah, it was just a little early there as well. Lance is going to show us the side on him. Lance says the Heiser flip sidearm. It's got some air under it. Yeah. Looks like he's just outside the circle. Far down there, at least. Yeah. Dollar's going for the roller. Oh, it's turning in nicely. Oh, beautiful. Great shot by Matt Dollar. The roller is a great play here. Keeps the canopy out of the play. Man, that was a good up shot out of Ezra. You saw Isaac there kind of reconsider. Yeah, he did. He went with the smart play there. Yeah. Let's see how it plays off for him. I see quite a few people putt back and forth on this pen. I have done it myself, so not a bad play laying it up. And Dollar with a great birdie. Roller paid off.
Good hole by the boys. Matt Dollar picking up the solo birdie. Everybody else cleaning up their pars. Dollar's now tied for the lead with Isaac. Making moves. On to four, Matt. Hashtag making moves. Hole four. This is a pretty good par four. It's 425 feet. Might seem short for an open hole, but uh, this one sits right on the edge of the water. So uh, going for that upshot is difficult. It plays a little bit longer than 425 feet, but uh, let's see how they attack this one. Looks like Dollar's just laying one up. Yeah, I reached for something super overstable and got really over on it, it looked like. He's over there on the right side though, so it should be a pretty easy uh, hyzer up shot for him. Ezra with a full rip, looks like he's he's going for the pin here. Oh yeah, that's a big time. And uh, he's well short of it. Guys, folks, that's a little bit longer than 425 feet if you haven't figured it out by now. Yeah, that was more in like the 475, 500 range on this hole. This hole, this hole is exactly, um, it's more like 500, 510. And there's a great shot as long as it comes out of it. Oh, great pull by Lance. Oh, Lance is throwing the hyzer flips nicely. Dollar with his up shot going uh, straight at it. Repping the Braves with the socks. I like it. Go Braves. Chop on. And great shot. Isaac just outside the edge of the woods. Beautifully played. Making sure not to go long. It's only 10, 15 feet to that OB line. Lance checking that headwind. No, and he's put one out there. Really close. Not much danger. Great shot. And this... If you notice this right side, it's pretty uh, easy to... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. What Ezra, a Ezra said, I I'm, I'm taking this one, boys. I'm coming after you, big bro. I ran it with the water 10, 15 feet behind it. That shot was wow. perfectly weighted. Even if the chains weren't there, it may have just dropped right in the cage. He said that was for you, Conrad. So as, as I was saying before Ezra dropped in that big deuce, the uh, I saw a lot of groups that did not play their drive to the right side. And those upshots look so much easier playing from the right side with the land to the left of it and long of it than uh, a lot of people that landed over to the left that I'd seen. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was definitely the play and all those guys executed it to a T, it looked like. And, uh... It's my design, but they, they beat me to it. I, I, I wasn't even trying to play on that right side. Go figure, the uh, lead card was all, had the same thing in mind there, besides Ezra. Hole five, uh, par three. It's probably about 350 over the golf green. Up on this little mound here, not much danger. The golf green is OB. It's a come and get me shot. I like this one, it's a pretty straightforward shot. However, it is kind of visually deceiving. Correct. I, Ezra does a pretty good job there putting that one up on the, the mound. Shouldn't have any sort of unlevel ground to put at. Matt ripping something super overstable again. Sliding it up there to the edge. Looked like that may have been a mid, by the way. It kind of caught on the green. Yeah, mid or putter. Like I said, this one's only playing probably 325. 335. That's a little wide there from Isaac, but uh, still well within his putting range. And Glantz leaves this one a little early. Ooh! Just a little. Yeah, not bad. Great putt from Isaac. Casually cashing 30 footers as he does. Lands here from about 25. 
Green's right behind the basket. Respect to Fleet leaves it short. I mean, you don't want to you don't want to miss it high. Yeah, that can you can easily result in a roll away straight onto the OB golf green. Correct. And I, I think honestly, anytime you step up to a putt and you, you're thinking miss, you're you're probably going to miss it. You got to be thinking cha I'll change their lead card last day. Yeah, but, that, you know, this is Lance Gregg's one of his first couple lead cards, and it's videoed. Lance Craig's been around a while, and he's certainly hit, done his uh, fair share of uh, shred loading, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. We're yes. happy to have caught it on film here. All right, here we go. Hole six, par four. The pins over here on the uh, wood line to the left, about 40, 30, 40 feet off of the wood line. 606 feet. Great par four. Let's see if uh, any, of the, any of these guys can get it there and uh, drop in a two like we seen in the previous round. Yeah, that'd be sick. Oh, he rips it. Ezra Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. Putting it to about a 100 foot, 100, 110, 100 to 15. Let's see if Dollar goes with the roller here. I'd be willing to bet. It's rolling out early. It's got to stop before it gets in that bunker. Oh, and that's the danger of trying the roller here. Oh, it almost tried to roll out again. It really tried to roll up that lip. That's going to be an unnecessary stroke taken, but I like the effort. Yeah, it's just a risk-reward kind of shot right there with the roller. That bunker is there for strategically for a reason. Great drive out of Isaac. And Lance catches a little cabbage there. Be knocked down short, but still have a uh, manageable approach on this 600 foot hole. Not too hard. Oh yeah, no problems. Dollar from the sand. Throwing it in. Oh, Ooh, give it right a bid. It. Well, he had his Conrad Envy out. Well, if Isaac threw a, a putt, I'd imagine Ezra has one. He didn't want nothing with it. Can be all birdies from our our lead card here. Be on dollar to the next one tapping in a par. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. I forgot about the sand. That battle for the lead is pretty tight there. Yeah, absolutely. And Ezra's closing that gap. So Isaac uh, gets back into the solo lead. Dollar one stroke behind. Ezra one stroke behind him. 23, 22, 21, 18 for Lance. We got hole seven here, par three. Into the bowl. It's a pretty uh, routine shot here. You throw straight at it. Sidearm, backhand, hyzer. Everything kind of filters here. The, uh, the real ticket here is making sure you get the distance right. What are you throwing at? Uh, I like to throw an M2 or a FX2, depending on the wind. Yeah. I'd say this cat's probably throwing an A. A3? A2? A2. A3. A3. Something like that. That'd be my guess. By the overstability on it in the flight. Isaac, I know, is throwing an A300 A2. Almost mm -hmm. held a little too straight for him. A little long there. Beyond the car path is OB again, reminded. Um, it's the only real danger on this hole. The car path itself, though, is inbounds, correct? Correct, absolutely. Okay. I don't like I don't like somebody getting an unfortunate roll and you land on the car path to be an OB. You know, if you if you blow the car path and you're well beyond the car path, you deserve to be OB. I agree. I think that's a good call. Matt is ripping on that overstable putter again. 
Nice. Puts it right there. And a great cut. Great catch by the lower right pocket. Great catch. Good putt as well. Absolutely. Sufficient putt there from Isaac. Yeah, maybe he was just used to being from 30 and didn't know what to do from 25. And Lance also catches that right lower pocket. Those baskets catching. Shout out to whoever who uh, set these baskets up and made sure they were all level. Good job, Cody. And uh, birdie putts from Dollar and Ezra there. And we'll get a star frame on the hole. Good hole from the squad. Everybody's still within the stroke. Moving on. Moving right along. That's one where uh, if you're not birdieing that hole, you're losing strokes on folks. Absolutely. And the, and the lead card shows you right there. This one's a pretty challenging hole eight, par four, 765. Probably plays more around the three, 815 range. Um, players are looking to bomb out to just below this area and hopefully still have a 380 foot shot up to this dangerous green with bunker on the left, golf green on the top right. It's a very challenging hole. It's a new hole to this year to bomb to uh, battle at Boomtown. Ezra looks like he unleashes on one. Yeah, anything past that sewer cap is great. That sewer cap is probably about the 415 mark. And these guys are throwing uphill at that. Isaac airs one out. Just to just to show him who's the older brother. Crushes past his younger brother. Let's see if Lance can get one out there. Yeah, Lance I'm going. expecting. I was expecting a Heiser flip. He threw more of a uh, a flat shot there. Yeah, <clears throat> and turning over like this is it's not absolutely a bad thing, but you're just taking yourself further away from the hole. Yeah, I mean, as long as you keep it to right of the uh, cart path there. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're in good uh, good position to attack the green as long as you're far enough far enough down the fairway to throw this shot. So Dollar's going to have him. Oh, he's throwing the roller here. He's got quite a bit uh, left in this hole, and he's going to try to lip out. Let's we'll see if it jumps out of the bunker. I we was didn't not catch it on that. Didn't catch it on camera if it did. I was expecting him to just try to play this safe. Yeah, and this is a great shot from Lance. It's got time to come back oh, to the pen. Fantastic shot out of Lance. See, this pen's only 20 feet or so from, maybe even 15 feet from the edge of that bunker. Absolutely. And you have to throw something kind of fast into it. You're not throwing anything. Yeah, that's, like, that's what Ezra did there. He tried to throw a mid, and it just went held straight on him. Isaac's got the... 300A2, see what he does with it. I say 300A2, but he throws that thing like 360 feet. Yeah, that's a great shot as well from Isaac. Oh, yeah. Mats was safe. Oh, he did jump over the bunker. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Being a routine par. Scary putt out of Ezra. Unfazed. Unfazed. Even with, who's that, Felix in the background with a garbage bag over his head. <laughs> Birdie for Lance. That was a fantastic second shot. A little bit further back than the kids, but still made it happen. Routine. And routine. Ezra is now caught dollar, and Isaac is separating himself a little bit more. Hole nine here, the last hole of this nine. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of them. It only is going to get better, I promise you that. Par three, 425 feet. This one's new to the course. It's on the right side this time. The tree taped with caution tape signifies where the hole is because it is blind off of the tee, but it is a big downhill 
turnover, sidearm, roller shot. No OBs except for the bunker that is 600 feet away. And Nasty Woods early right. And Ezra does a good job of avoiding him. He hits that last kind of corner tree that sticks out there. Otherwise, that was going to be under the pen. Yeah. And Isaac tells us that one's horrible. Yeah, that it was super low. And definitely have to play for par on this one. Leader looking to sacrifice a stroke to the, f the field here. I don't know if he was going for the roller or if he was just going for the high turnover. It looked on like him. he was going for the, that... Uh... That overstable Anheuser shot that rode all the way and kind of slid to the towards the pen, and he almost pulled it off. He was just a little early there. This is a nice looking roller here. Dollar rolls it to exactly pen high. Absolutely, that was sick. Good shot. Should be the closest putt of the group. Yeah, this was a uh, a keep bomb design. He he wanted to change it up. He thought, ooh. ooh. He thought last year's was a little too easy being out in the open, and I, I didn't disagree with him. So well, these kids sh shredded it last year. So oh, yeah, well, if we can shave one stroke off every year, I think they'll still shoot eighteen down. I'm waiting for the uh, twenty-seven to come out. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're always waiting on that. I'm I, that is my job to try to avoid that. Oh, wow. This looks like he might be uh, the guy to try to do it. Another great putt from Ezra Robinson. He's well on pace to do so. In the zone and feeling it. And when he does so, it can be problems for the field. That's a uh, world champ there for you. Yeah. Dollar with a great step. Jump putt. That deserves a run back as well. Excellent slow mode. That uh, that one checks out. Great basket catch. And some action from Daddy Dollar. Pars from the rest of the boys. I'm sure they were looking to show off some of the dance moves of their own, but uh, not today, boys. See you on the middle nine. Yeah, we will uh, catch you guys on the middle nine. Peace.